What is up fam? Back here again with the Lakers reactions. Here with your boy Mark and let's get it going. We got the mock draft version 4. Let's get it going. And if you haven't already, sub and like means a lot. Thanks already for all the support. And I want to give a quick shout out to Frankie Vision, one of the big homies. If you haven't already watched from his videos, he uploads college game highlights from the present right now and from the past too. He has like some old nice ones, Anthony Davis highlights. If you haven't, thank you already for putting me out on your channel, Frankie Vision. Appreciate the support, thank you, bro. And let's get it going, version four. Now, mock draft. We have a little bit of change up. Lakers have been losing, Suns have been winning. I guess you can say that about the Suns, but Lakers have been definitely losing. And here we got at number one now, still, still, Markel Fultz of Washington. Here averaging now 23 and a half, about, about six rebounds per game and about six assists as well with a PER of about 29, 28.6. I'll be posting all the stats up here. And we got now at number two, Lakers. Yes, let's go Lakers. We secured the guy, our hometown kid. I'm following the hype. I'm believing in the hype. I believe in it now. Lonzo Ball. We got Lonzo Ball from UCLA, from Chino Hills, averaging about 15 points, 6.2 rebounds, and a nice about eight assists per game with a PER of about 26 also. Wow, this kid is really good. He just turned 19 too, so he's gonna be really, really good for the future to wherever team. The only thing I fear is since Boston has that number one pick, they will take Lonzo Ball. Just remember that, I said it here first. And at number three, we got Josh Jackson, always a projected top three pick from Kansas, small forward, more of a defensive type, averaging now about 16 and a half. 7.2 rebounds and three assists about and his PER also 25 so this kid is also good but Josh Jackson again has already turned 20 years old but it's not a big difference like just a few months from 19 whatever it is and here we got Brandon Ingram's younger brother at number four we got Jason Tatum from Duke also a small forward type people would say resemblances to a Paul George maybe a slower type game like a, a Ford maybe like a Paul Pierce if I would have to say but more skinnier than a Paul Pierce but Paul Pierce was never like that fat or anything like that and here oh and Jason Tatum he actually played pretty well this year so far he had a slow start but he's been averaging 16 points seven and a half rebounds per game and about a little over than two assists per game so he has a PR of 22. This Jason Tatum here at number four. And here at number five, we got from North Carolina State. We never hear about North Carolina State, but we have a freshman, Dennis Smith Jr. He's been balling now. He's been playing really, really well, averaging 18 and a half points, 4.5 rebounds, and 6.3 assists with a PR of 24. That's a sign of Kobe right there. And that was the top five again. Let me run it through it again. At number one, we had Markel Fultz of Washington drafted to the Boston Celtics. And at number two, we got the hometown kid going to the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's go, Lonzo Ball. And at number three, we have Kansas giving up Josh Jackson to the Phoenix Suns. Wow. And we have number four, Jason Tatum going to the Orlando Magic from Duke. And last, we had Dennis Smith Jr. from North Carolina State. And another two I have on my list, just because I got to shout them out, they're from Kentucky. The two guards we have at number eight and at nine, back-to-back -back picks. First, we have De'Aaron Fox averaging 15.5 points, 4.2 rebounds per game, and five assists per game with a PER of 22. So he's been playing really well, but he has been a little bit injured with ankle injuries, but he has been coming back. So it's going to be really exciting to who he's to see for March Madness. And again, fam, since March Madness is coming up, I want to know who you guys got in your Elite Eight, Elite Eight brackets. Tell me who you guys got. I, I have to say, I don't see no Kentucky or Kansas, but I'm going to say I see UCLA. But I hope Kentucky, of course, can pass it. And then now at number nine, we have Malik Monk averaging about 21 and a half points. Two and a half rebounds and two and a half assists with a PER of 23. This guy is really, really nice. Not that short of a player, but he's very athletic, can dunk it, can shoot it, drive everything. 
and if he has to, he can pass as well Malik Monk, and he is projected still to go to the New York Knicks. Wow, I can't believe it. This kid is still going to the New York Knicks as projected up today from Draft Express. Again, thank you fam for all the support and all the likes and comments, even though they're hateful, some ching chong, bling blong, whatever it is. Thank you again, peace. And again, three, one, lead, 73 and nine, unanimous MVP. Come on, man, come on, man, peace.